From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check of 2021. In this recording, we go over all the breaking news as Wall Street crashes, the CPI number goes through the roof, but fourth stimulus is heading to the finish line. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today, we go over how much money you're gonna get, when you're gonna get it, what are the issues at play, and why the president made a deal, a major deal for the fourth stimulus checks to go out. Incredible great deal across the board. Then we'll be turning to fifth stimulus heating up in lieu of today's breaking developing details, why Wall Street crashed today, and why it's good for fifth stimulus. I have all the big news in the second half of this recording. And then the middle part of the recording, we go over the thousands of dollars of the $350 billion that is landing in cities and states, cities, counties, and states across the land this week for money for you. Thousands of dollars coming to you starting right today. It's incredible great news. It's Afternoons LA, and let's get to it starting right now. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Afternoons L8. As Wall Street cr crashes 680 points today, falling through the floor, and crypto crashes as well, but Force Stimulus has all the incredible great news across the board. And I'll put all that into focus with you right now. In this recording, we go over the Force Stimulus check, the monthly stimulus check you start getting in the month of July, and going thereafter, this is the Force Stimulus package, a two-bill, two-month, two-step process. We go over all the incredible news, when you're going to get it, how you're going to get it, who's going to get it, Get it and why today's developments are so critical for force stimulus breaking news just minutes ago thank you for tuning in for afternoons la if you have not subscribed subscribe right now this is LA Light, the only 24 hours a day, seven days a week financial news channel from Wall Street to Main Street, from my home to your home, covering everything you need to know to be financially stable. Also, like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, the links at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Without a delay, let's get right into fourth stimulus check and fourth stimulus package. The fourth stimulus check of 2021 has the incredible relief for you across the board. Two approaches, two analysis. Let's go through the details. If you're in the live chat right now, get ready to vote. I want to hear your reaction across the board. So there's two approaches to doing it. The House approach is to give more stimulus checks. How many? They're going to give a stimulus check they propose for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. So if there's four months left of the pandemic, they would get four months of stimulus checks plus 12 on top of that. 16 months of stimulus checks. The senators on hand other otherwise only provide stimulus checks from July to December. But don't vote just yet because we have to see the amount at play. House members propose to give a stimulus check of $1,000 a month after the first month of $2,000. But the senators propose to give a lot more monthly. We're on the streets and senators want to pay $2,000 a month over six months to $12,000 an individual. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 an individual. Wow, wow, wow. So if you're in the live chat shortly after 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, jump in the live chat and vote. Senate or House, which one do you like? And if you're watching it taped, drop in the comments. Senate or House, which one do you like? Let's go over all the details of how and where and when you would get this money. First, this is the fourth stimulus check of updated 2021. So this would go by a two-bill, two-month, two-step process that has already started. It's called reconciliation. The subcommittees have already been working on the provisions of the bill. Remember, I'm a reporter. I'm not a legislator. They give representations. I just report them. But what are they representing? That the vote would become no later than July 4th. And that means that the stimulus checks would go out on July for the month of July. The first stimulus check would be in the month of July for the month of July. The second in the month of August for the month of August. Would there be waves of checks? No, they can't do waves of checks. It's a monthly stimulus check program. Second, would this be income? No, it's not a taxable event. Third, is there a different stimulus check amount for different people? No. So the same stimulus check amount for you, for, for children, for adult dependents. 
Finally, who's getting it? Let's go over those incredible great news. If you make less than $75,000, you're getting the Force Stimulus Check of 2021. If you make less than 150,000 married couple, you're getting the Force Stimulus Check of 2021. And if you are a household of four or less, you're getting four times that stimulus check uh, the, of, under the 2021. And finally, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Railroad Benefits, you're getting the, the Force Stimulus Check of 2021. That is the monthly force stimulus check, a two bill, two month, two process bill, and away we go. What happened minutes ago? Boy, what happened minutes ago is not what anyone anticipated, but it came on the heels of this. The day started with this number, the consumer price index, and it absolutely caused terror on Wall Street. Tear in not a good way, but a good way for stimulus checks. How does it impact your stimulus checks? How does it impact other stimulus? I'll be going over all that breaking news in the second half of this recording as Wall Street tumbled 700 points minutes ago. But guess what? I'm going to give you a preview of what's coming up in the second half of this video. This is a 30-minute jam-packed video in which I'm going to go over thousands of dollars of money coming to you. So get a pen and paper ready because I've got a lot of money coming for you. But first, let me give you a preview of the second half. Fifth stimulus is the next stimulus package, and it starts in September, and the president's already working on it. The congressional leaders are already working on it, and what are they putting in there? They're putting in their SSI and SSDI reform. This is incredible. Let me explain what fifth stimulus is. It is a two-bill, two-month, two-process, uh, st two-step process that starts in September. Gets done around October. The benefits would land in your hand in November. This is for you. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, and Survivor Benefits. How much money? Stay with me. It's in the second half of this recording. That's a preview. All right, now let's cut to the other breaking developing details, which is thousands of dollars is landing in Americans' hands, bank accounts, and mailboxes starting today, last week, this week, and next week. And I'm going to go over all the details starting right now. Some of the money is donut money, meaning you don't have, you don't have to do anything. You can sit back and have that donut and watch it land. Other money is tough love money, meaning you got to do something. And if you don't do it, you don't get it. So let me go over each of them one at a time. Number one, the incredible great news is that there is donut money landing this week. <laughs> Where is it landing? And how much money is landing? This is incredible great news. Thousands of dollars is landing in Americans' hands starting this week and continuing thereafter because of something that went wrong with a computer. The money's coming from your state's unemployment office. And what's at hand? Millions of states, excuse me, millions of Americans received extra benefits from their state to no fault of their own because of computer malfeasance. Then were ordered by their state to return the money. Mistake. The Department of Labor, the federal government, has stepped in and ordered states to return that money back to you, saying that it was not your fault that the state's computers went wrong. They should have let you have the money. It was not your fault. Now states have been ordered to send thousands of dollars back to you. So what are you getting? How are you getting it? First, if you got an overpayment of unemployment benefits from your state and you were ordered to return it back to your state because of no fault to your own, the states have now been ordered to return that money to you. Second, how are you going to get it? It's going to come by the main manner in which it came the first time. Third, when are you going to get it? It's a whole different time horizon depending on your state. This is a donut moment. You don't have to do anything. You can put your feet up and eat that donut. Is it jelly or is it glaze? All right, let's go to the next one. This is a donut moment as well. And instead of the state, you're going to see this in the mailbox. Who's it coming from? The IRS, the Federal Department of Treasury. And what will, the, what will the check or envelope look like? It will be a wider beige envelope, and inside will be a beige check. On it will say something along the lines of refund. Or if your last tax return had a, a direct deposit account on file, it will go to that one. What should you know? When is that money coming? First, this is a donut moment. So what you need to know is you don't have to do anything. Let me go over what you're getting. You're getting upwards of thousands of dollars. What is being returned to you? This week, the federal government is returning to millions of Americans who are single tax filers who pay taxes on their first $10,200 of unemployment, a refund back to them automatically. Next, if you're a married couple, husband and wife, your refund is coming at the end of the month in what's called phase two. How much are you getting? Thousands of dollars, potentially. Let's go over how much exactly you're getting. If you filed a tax return already for 2020, and pay taxes on your unemployment benefits of last year under $10,200, the federal government is returning the taxes you paid to them. 
And that is incredible great news. So here's an example. Let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment. You filed a 2020 tax return. The total tax bill was $5,000, of which $4,000 was taxes you paid to the federal government. You're getting $4,000 back from the federal government this week, even today. Congratulations. Incredible great news. All right, now we go to donut moment number one. Donut moment number one is where you have to do something. Excuse me, what did I just say? Tough love number <laughs> number one. This is where you got to do something. Sorry, donut guy. You got to do something now. This is tough love moment number one. In tough love num moment number one, you got to do something. If you took out for federal taxes while receiving your, ten your, your unemployment benefits in 2020, you have to file a tax return ASAP. There's just a few days away, and you have to request that money back for the federal government. What's at issue? What's at play? Let me go over all the details starting right now. If you, for example, took out $100 a week for federal taxes while receiving your unemployment benefits, then you have to file a 2020 tax return to return that money back to you from the federal government. All right, now let's go to the incredible great news across the board for the children. The children, you're getting money. Some of it's automatic, donut, but most of it's tough love. You're getting the money automatically if two things have occurred. One, you make less than $75,000, and two, the IRS knows that child exists. But most of the time, it is not the situ situ second situation. Most of the time, you have to do something. And what is that? You have to tell IRS the child exists. Now, at this point, in this part of the recording, we're going really tough on the tough love. Why? Because it's important for you to understand that the money at issue that we're talking about here is money that starts to pay out in July. But you must fix the situation in the next few days. If you don't fix it now, you're not getting paid in July. I need to make that very clear to you. I also need to make very clear the following subject, which is if you're an individual, you don't make enough money, you're not required to file a tax return, or you're on SSI and SSDI, you don't have to file a tax return, that's fine as to you. But when we're talking about this money for these children, you categorically, 100%, triple underline, three exclamation points, will get $0 for those children if the IRS does not know they exist. End of subject. So let's go to the details of each three tough love. Number one, First, let's go over the money. <laughs> $3,600 for a child five to newborn and $3,000 for a child 17 to six. It's incredible great news. It's paid prorated starting in the month of July, either 300 or 250 a, week, a month. So let's say you have a child five, four, and three. You're looking at nearly $10,000 paid prorated starting in the month of July. With that number as our example, let's go to the three tough love moments. Number one, you never file tax returns, and IRS doesn't know those three children exist. What's going to happen in July? You're going to get zero dollars. You're not going to get ten thousand. You'll get zero, and you won't be allowed to fix it in July. So what do you have to do? You have to file a tax return in the next few days, listing those three children, five, four, and three, immediately as their dependents. And when you do, you'll get paid that prorated ten thousand dollars starting in the month of July. Incredible great news. Number two, you have a child and you have not filed, a, you have filed tax returns, but you haven't listed that child. An example is the child appeared on someone else's tax return in prior years. Now it's on your tax return or the child just, just normally born. You need to get that tax return on file because the IRS doesn't know that child is with you. The ch IRS thinks that child is with someone else or doesn't even know the child exists. You need to get that 2020 tax return on file right away. And tough love number three is if you had a very good financial year 2019, that is your last tax return on file. It disqualifies you from receiving this money because the IRS is gonna look at the last tax return on file 2019 and say, oh, you made too much money. We're not sending the money for the children. Guess what? You need to get that 2020 tax return on file. If you took a nosedive in your earnings last year and you're now eligible for that money for the children, they don't know that IRS until they see that 2020 return. Finally, three major people that are getting money as well right away if you do the correct thing, and those are people who are missing a first stimulus check, a second stimulus check, a third stimulus check, or a member of your household who's missing a stimulus check. You gotta fix all those things and put it on the tax return and it's due in just a few days. As you see throughout those items of tough love, you understand that when you go to that tax preparer, if you've been watching this video, make a list and make a list for everything you need to tell that tax preparer. I need to tell them about the children. I need to get that unemployment benefits back. I need to get that um, missing stimulus check for my daughter. She didn't get them. If you don't do that, 
you're not getting paid. Here's the message that I say with a lot of deep love and a lot of tough love in this recording. There's a lot of YouTubers who are going to tell viewers, don't do anything. Sit back and wait for that check in July. And when July comes, they're not going to see a check because IRS didn't know that child exists. Guess what? July is too late. You won't get paid in the month of July. The great news is that you're watching me now. You're watching me now before the deadline has passed. I fear for the people who are watching other YouTubers with false information, they're gonna come up on the deadline, on the date in which the check's gonna land. They're gonna look, they're gonna see no money, and they will not have fixed the situation. It is too late, too late at that point to fix the information. All right, now let's turn to the incredible other news that is hitting across the board, and this is absolutely incredible. There's hundreds of thousands of dollars of landing in your city, county, and state this very day, last week and next week, and what is it? It's incredible great news. $350 billion of money has been landing from third stimulus. This is money for rent, utilities, and also for SNAP. If you're a viewer of this channel, have no children, you're on SSI and SSTI, I mean, no money a year. Guess what? This is your opportunity. If you've been watching since January this year, you heard from me that when third stimulus becomes law, yes, you'll get a stimulus check. Yes, you'll get $1,400, but this is the big enchilada. This was the one we talked about, the five to 15, the $20,000. Now it's landing. Now is your opportunity. And I have tough love on this one as well. So what is the first item? It's rent. It's rent. How much does it pay? Four to six thousand dollars, about about five thousand dollars for four to six months of rent. Where do you get it? I hope you have that pen and paper ready. Let's go over it. City hall, city housing authority, county hall, county housing authority, state hall, state housing authority. If I'm talking too fast, you can watch this video after it's taped, after it airs live. It's then taped on the channel. You can replay it by toggling the re return button underneath the video. Let's go over those locations to get the money. City Hall, City Housing Authority, County Hall, County Housing Authority, State Hall, State Housing Authority. What's important for you to understand is you ask for rent assistance because of COVID. That's it. You don't worry, use the word stimulus, make it confusing or anything else. You can call it the American Economic Recovery Act, the Biden help, but don't use words like stimulus. They don't understand that. This is incredible great news. There's also money for utilities, which is a couple thousand dollars, and there's also money for mortgage assistance and homeowners assistance and homeowners utilities. Then there's money for SNAP. SNAP is incredible. It's Department of Agriculture. It's 211. How much is paying? A family of four in Hawaii. Because of two executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, and increase your benefits 15% over one year, is now getting $14,000 to $16,000 a year. This is incredible. We're only 17 minutes of this video, and look how much money I've gotten you. $16,000, $5,000, $21,000 of money? This is incredible. Now, here comes a big tough love moment, and this is a big one, folks. This is a big one. I told you that this money for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance was your biggest payout under, fist, under third stimulus. Go get it. What's at issue? A couple things. Number one, stimulus stampede, an expression I coined, which refers to when money comes out, it's first come, first serve. This money's not going to be around forever. So pounce her proper hawks. That was also an expression who came out of rent. I wanted you to pounce and get stimulus before anyone else. Oh, oh, pounce and get that money before anyone else because once you do, don't, it's going to be gone. Now, a big tough love moment, which is that, and this is very serious, the eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance are going away. They're not coming back in September. They're not coming back. So the eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance, rent aid, food aid, rent aid mortgage aid, they're not going to be in for stimulus in July. Stimulus checks will be, but not rent and not, and not mortgage assistance. So this is the last ride of the pony show. This is the last ride at the rodeo. You got to get this money now before it's gone. Ultimately, I want you to get this money because it's huge. And guess what? I got big updates for you about fourth stimulus, more about those monthly stimulus checks, and more about the fifth stimulus. And what's going off? Wall Street down 700 points today. And what does it mean for your stimulus? It means everything. Stay with me. I have all those details right after the commercial break. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. The link to the community page is in the description to this video and in the pinned comment. It's news.lla.com forward slash community. There's a link to go right there. It has a picture of some cats on the page. And there you can reach out to the volunteers. They can help you get rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and snap. They can't help you with your taxes. I'll be back in 60 seconds with more about your four stimulus. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. 
The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA Late with huge updates about your forced stimulus check of 2021 today. I got more details on what's happening with Wall Street and what's going on with your fifth stimulus. How are you? This is Afternoons LA. I hope you're having a beautiful day. You're almost halfway to the week, or well, a little bit more than that. So hope you're having a wonderful day. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. This is LA, the only comprehensive 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel. Coming up in two hours from now is Evenings LA. You don't want to miss that recording. It's followed by Crypto Nights. I have my latest update on the crypto industry. Mornings has one and Evenings has one as well. And then two other surprise videos. So don't miss a single video by, by subscribing right now. Also like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. Let's do it. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. The President of the United States, just at the time of this recording, which was just minutes ago, came out and said he has very good news immediately for tomorrow about Colonial Pipeline. Colonial Pipeline is very important for what's going on with Wall Street today because, wow, Wall Street today, Wall Street Friday, Wall Street yesterday, and certainly Wall Street tomorrow is reacting to economic data that could impact your forced stimulus. What's important for you to understand is that there is some news that concerns forced stimulus checks and some news that concerns other forced stimulus instruments, namely FPUC. Forced stimulus checks are getting incredible great news across the board. Why? Amidst trouble in the, in the Middle East and the Gaza Strip between Israel and the Palestinians, amidst concerns about the colonial pipeline in the New England, the president has remained on message very, very, very well about forced stimulus. Having one, three press conferences on Friday, one on, on Monday, one yesterday, saying the number on Friday was bad past forced stimulus. This incredible great news because as the president of the United States is the head of the Democratic Party, he's speaking to the Democrats who are doing the two bill, two month process. And they're currently working on the legislation in those subcommittees. That's incredible great news. The also incredible great news for forced stimulus was those three words that were emitted by the president in the last seven days. And those three words are the ones you want to hear. Corporate tax rate. The president's forced stimulus is paid by the corporate tax rate. And what did he say? Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. And he's not talking about the Republicans. He's talking about his fellow Democrats. The corporate tax rate was the only issue that could have possibly derailed forced stimulus checks going out the door because of some moderates who weren't happy with the president's proposal of 28, 29%. It's currently 21%. They think that's too low. So they wanted to be at around 25. And the incredible great news, the president said, deal, I'll do it. Wow, this is incredible great news. For stimulus, Senator House, which one do you like? Drop in the live chat right now. And I'm in the live chat as well. Say hi. Senator House, which one do you like? Now, here's what you need to know, is that in the universe of today and Friday's economic news, it was bad news for purposes of other stimulus items. Which ones are going to be victims of this bad economic news? FPUC. FPUC, which is a $300 add-on, which goes on top of your UI and PUA. I already told you. I told you last week that I expected nearly all red states where the governors are Republican to end FPUC before September. We don't go a single day without another person treating me that their state has now left FPUC. I think we're currently at three plus states. This is the casualty of Friday's jobs number, which showed that there were jobs created, but people were not taking jobs and staying home and staying on unemployment benefits. And then 
Wall Street crashed today. So why did Wall Street crash today? And what does that mean about other stimulus items, not stimulus checks? This number. The consumer price index number came in this morning, and it was a number that scared people's shoes off on Wall Street. Why is this number scary? The predicted inflationary number year to date was supposed to be 3.6%, but came in substantially higher at 4.2%, the highest growth since 2008. 2008 was not a particularly good year either. <laughs> so what is the CPI? What does that number mean? CPI is how much things cost. How much things cost? Milk, eggs, how much things cost? And it, it's tied to inflation. We all know inflation's, you know, 1%, 2%, 3%. That number was 4%? 4%? You know, just shatters today. The federal chair of the, of, of, of the regional division of the Fed out of St. Louis said, we, he looks like 2.5. He said maybe 2.5% inflation by December. And then this number comes out, 4%? This is crazy. And if you looked at the data behind today's number, it's scary. It's very scary. It talked about that um, energy went up 25%. The cost of energy bills at home went up 25% in one year. That gasoline went up 37%. That cars and truck sales prices went up 21%. It just goes on and on and on. What does this mean? It means that the other items of forced stimulus, the other items of forced stimulus could be in jeopardy because the president's focus has been a little bit off kilter. This is a very big problem. There's a sh semiconductor chip shortage. There's now people not getting back to work. And now we show massive inflation. What is the president doing with those issues? Mm. He's having some issues. And what happened? Wall Street crashed. Down 700 points. Tech slump across the board. New tech down 8%. So what does this mean for forced stimulus? Nothing at all about the checks. It is still great news for the checks because the checks are a different type of stimulus item. The stimulus checks are different if you're looking at the House or the Senate plan, and the approaches are slightly different. Let's look at those approaches now in lieu of today's events. What's important for, for stimulus is that the House members want to give you stimulus checks over a longer duration, but the senators want to give it to you over a shorter duration, but a bigger amount. Let's look back at those amounts now, right? So the House members think that a smaller amount of stimulus checks over many more months makes sense, where the senators think the approach should be to put you back to whole sooner rather than later, with a bigger cash infusion faster rather than a slower cash infusion over a longer duration. That's the Senate versus House. Which one do you like? If you're in the live chat, Senate versus House. Which one do you like? And if you're watching this tape, drop in the comments, Senate versus House. Now, in lieu of today's CPI number, which showed where inflationary growth, at least when we're looking at consumer goods, is 4%, is incredible news for fifth stimulus. Why? Because of that last line on the screen, people. Look at that last line. SSI and SSDI reform under the fifth stimulus will add an inflationary benchmark. Oh, thank goodness. And then remove the asset limit currently and do a new one. Increase your benefit limits and then remove the income pair exclusion and marriage penalty. Let me give you all the incredible great news across the board. I'm glad that I led with the inflation. So now you understand the significance of the inflation. Not that you already didn't see in the price, the price is going up. But now you understand the backdrop of what I'm about to say to you for fifth stimulus. So fifth stimulus, incredible great news. This is September. This is a September. Two bill, two month, two press, two step process. And they're going to provide you a reform to benefits. Who's you? The benefits are for people getting revised are the following. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, and Social Security SSA. All your benefits will be raised up to a big new number. That will be your big new number going forward. Then, over as many years as anyone can remember, you have been tied to COLA, which doesn't move. They're going to remove that benchmark of COLA, which doesn't move, and tie you to inflation. That's why you don't have to worry anymore. In lieu of today's CPI number, which you just saw, 4%. Wall Street thought 3%. Uh, yesterday, we heard about 2.5%. You don't have to worry because you'll be tied to inflation. So inflation goes up to 4%. Your benefits will go up 4%. Incredible great news. Then they're going to remove the asset cap. It's dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't keep more than $3,000 on hand if you're some individuals. 
That's going to be gone. That's going to be gone, and you'll be able to keep those stimulus checks in the bank. Then they're going to remove the income ex the income exclusion, which dates back to a very antiquated 1960s law that says you can't stay on benefits and receive income. So if you want to go out and make one, two, three thousand dollars a month, go do it when they pass this, and you'll be able to stay on benefits. Finally, the marriage penalty going away. The marriage penalty has penalized people who get married and penalized people and prevented people from getting married. Now the marriage penalty would be going away. So love will conquer, love will win. You'll be able to consummate your love with your dear longtime partner and no longer fear the marriage penalty. Incredible great news. So when is Fifth Stimulus going to become a law? Fifth Stimulus, again, is a two bill, two month, two step process starting in September, likely to have its impact in November. And there you go. What a big recording. I told you this was going to be a big recording. I hope you stayed to the very end. There was money across this entire recording. Ultimately, what I need you to know and understand is the following. You're going to see bad economic data. You're going to see more market jitters over the next three days. I don't care if it's Wall Street. I don't care if it's Nasdaq. I don't care if it's crypto. I don't care what it is. You're going to see a lot of market jitters. Those market jitters are not bad news for, for stimulus checks. They are potentially bad news for other stimulus items like FPUC that could be yanked off the system because they are people are not getting back to work. But in lieu of these confusing numbers where inflation is going up very quickly, people are not going back to work, and stimulus checks are still not going out, you'll understand why the president's message, get it done, is a great message from the man with the megaphone, the person who leads the Democratic Party, speaking to these legislators to get the fourth stimulus package done. House or Senate, which one do you like? Drop in the comments below. And with that, I'll be back in two hours from now. I can't wait to see you then. Make sure you subscribe. This is LA, and I want you to grow this channel. I want you to be part of this family. I don't want you to miss a single recording. Also, like this video. And I'll see you in two hours from now as Evenings LA comes back with big, bold information across the board. Stay informed, stay focused, keep on smiling, and stay with LA for more.